Come on, guys. Boom. Welcome to the RTM Podcast Show, episode one, season two. Season two. I don't know. You get me? The sun's popping out and all these things. So everything has a beginning and everything has an end. And then we start again. You see me? Progress. Mm. But yeah, um, joined here today with the one and only co host, Queen Ice Cream. Hi, everyone. Yeah, and um, today our special guest, all the way from Hastings, my pal, Mr. Ben Hatchet. Satin. Satin. Thanks for coming on. You know, um, he's got a good story. Very good story. I watched his James English, and um, you know, I think you're gonna find it very interesting. And um, I think you're quite inspiring, Ben. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty I've been sure. watching. I've been watching your thing. Still, it's quite. You, you've got quite an inspiring story, and yeah. So um, I just want to start with um, definitely like um, where was you born? Where did you grow up? Just want to know. I want your story out on my platform yeah. to get that, just in case anyone might have missed it you know so just want to know where you're from where you was born oh, yes. your upbringing you know what i mean so uh, my upbringing so i was on the south coast kids i was um, born in Hastings. so i grew up in a, another town called eastbourne mm-hmm. mostly in the care system i was moved about a younger age did go back to my home for a little bit things didn't work out and that's why i moved in with my foster family so my foster brother's up here today yeah, yeah man. big him up big him yeah, up right. mm-hmm. there so was you always naughty or was there a turning point no one always knew i was like when i was younger i was like severely bullied people don't realize that people, okay. people were quite shocked on the term mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah i was severely bullied in the care system and obviously coming out of that care system sort of in the streets before about f- before i had my first fight about 14 14 15. Mm. obviously when i put when i hit someone for the first time i I just got a bit of a taste for it. Felt good. But yeah, it felt good because you know, for <coughs> years I had like, people taking the piss, and this one guy, he, he got on to me a lot more than a lot of other kids did. Mm. It would come to the point where it was just getting fucking embarrassing, like he was doing it in front of girls and all that sort of stuff. Just yeah. enough. Yeah, I was, I was a scruffy kid, and that as it was. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I just get beat up. I just never hit back. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's just I got so in the habit of just taking it, taking it, and so I started mixing with one guy I knew from the town, and um, I started mixing with him. He was like a boy. He was a lad around the town. I started going around with him. And I start when I was going around with him now. I noticed I started getting respect for being around him. Like mm. these people would stop in the town and you see him, you have a conversation. They didn't know like nod to you and give you respect. It was like, yeah. oh, like people recognise me. I'm getting, I'm getting hello that and yeah. shit like that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And one time, well, one day I was in town with with this lad, and he got into an altercation with someone. He got into he had, he had a fight with someone. Mm. And he whacked the kid up. And I said to him after, how do you do that? And he's like, what, what, what do you mean, how do you do that? You bang him in his face. You know what I mean, <laughs> like, it's simple as that, isn't it? Mm. The kid's name used to pop around the town and that. So, not long after that, this one kid from my school, like, I didn't really go to school because of him and other, I just thought, I knew they, where I lived at the time, they used to hang up, up the road, around the corner, that was like the spot, all like, the kids used to hang out, used to drink and all that. Mm. There was a local spot, everyone used to meet up and hang mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. So I said to him, I said, well, I lived in this flat around the corner, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna punch him in his face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Plan the attack. <laughs> yeah, 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 I planned it. You know what I mean? I just thought, uh, you know what I mean? Like I thought it's gonna be the only way to sort of solve this one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought if I do it, I go up there and he's with everyone and all that. Like it's sort of gonna, do you know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. want to let him know I'm gonna make a statement. I remember when I was coming out of my flat, shit, my fucking, you know, my was going like that. Do you know what I mean? I was like. <laughs> But in my head, I had that mission. I'm gonna yeah, go yeah, and yeah. punch him in the <laughs> face. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't, you know what I mean? I was on like yeah. tunnel vision. Mm. But fuck it up, man. But I, I, you know, I went up there. Cracked him. Yeah, cracked him, shot his face, yeah. bro. Like, I didn't take that. Huh? I didn't take that. I think he was shocked. A lot of them were shocked. Now yeah. we got into a little scuffle and that. No one really won or lost. But I went back a winner. Do you know what yeah. I, mean? I went yeah. back skipping. Do you know what I mean? I was mm. like, I just felt so like the weight of the world was was gone. Mm. Do you know mm. what I mean? It was mm. just like there was no. I just felt relieved, didn't it? Mm. But instead of it just being sort of that, that's when I got like it started your vibe. Yeah, that's behavior. when it sort of started, and yeah, then trying to build a name for myself in the town and all mm. that. But I was always in, that's when I come very ballsy. I think coming from like violence, you know, when you've been on receiving end for violence for many years and mm. received it, 
and once you sort of took that emotion of like that fight or flight mm. Mm. that adrenaline I was channeling it full instead of like fight I mean instead of flight I was channeling it all fight fight fight, fight, fight. Yeah. and the buzz was getting from that rush and I think that's what I found quite addicting well and that's, that's how it all sort of started mm. so how did you end up how did you end up because obviously um, big up SP as well mm. um, done I saw the prison podcast mm. um, how did how did you end up going to prison and all that how did how did you get to that point because they were like if people if they've seen the podcast I haven't obviously it's out there like I did 10 years I actually did 13 years so basically once I did 10 years in one go mm. but before that I was um, at 17 I was convicted for a knife crime okay so and I got um what was that knife crime a lad got a lad, a lad got slashed in the hands okay like, slashed in the back so it was um it's that anti-social lifestyle yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. you get what I'm saying it's that anti-social lifestyle but the thing is I thought when I sort of got involved with that violence I think it always escalates I think you go from punch-ups you go from jumping you mm. go from this you go from like maybe it's like experimenting with a weapon which mm. is you know, I bit people bats or bits of fucking I don't know, skips and all sorts mm. I bit people bricks I think it always sort of you, you're always willing to go further 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 and I think mm. with me as well especially with a lot of young lads now see these days now it's that not having that consequence that consequence thinking mm, mm, which you mm. get sort of saying yeah. and like when, you, when you're like especially in towns like ours there's smaller towns obviously London's massive but we're really you know smaller towns like when you do something sort of ballsy or in, mm, in mm, that mm. sort of anti-social world your name starts popping and yeah. you get known you, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean it's all quite you know it's exciting you know you find it exciting mm. you know you've you got a reputation that's it reputation and this and you do that one you do that one madness after time when it goes round it's like Chinese whispers it's like exaggerating yeah, 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 yeah. a little bit and that you know, sometimes it ain't but a lot of times it is but when everyone's hearing you know and all this like you know I was a young kid but if I think the thing was me I think people just sort of worry what level I would take whatever yeah, to yeah, yeah. Uh, especially when you's not, you know where all these lads live in their mum's house live and all that lot like, people don't really want that around them because yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. unnerving so and that's, that's what happened it just got you know so how long did you get for that worse. one? five years for the, for the night for the I, got, I got five years and did you come out? I come out, I was out for seven months. Okay. And that's, when I, that's when I've done, and I served 10 years. Ten so I come months. out, but I, I hadn't changed. Do you know what I mean? I had, had two and a half years, I had, uh, didn't change me whatsoever. No. I come, you know, I got recalled for something I didn't actually do. But Juvie's not very rehabilitating. No. no Juvenile no, no, prison no. is not very. Do you feel like you breeze through that? Or um, was it hard for you? Or I didn't kick off inside. I, I, yeah. I had a few occasions and that sort of stuff, but like not to like what I did in the ten. Yeah. Like um, I say, bruise for when I got, I got moved about a little bit. It sort yeah. of breaks up the bird when you get moved about mm. different places. It does sort of break it up Definitely. a bit. Um, so I spent most of that sentence in Portland, mm-hmm. in, uh, mm-hmm. Weymouth. So I spent most of the time there. And I went towards the end. I went to Rochester. I got released from Rochester, but I did in Felton and all that. My brother's got a story about the Felton, actually. Mm. Really? I had to get him to say this on London. It's actually a story my brother <laughs> when he went to Felton. Can I say it? Shall I say it? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Who should, should we get to say it? Go on. How did it go? Honestly, I, was, I went to Felton, and I had some pictures that he sent me from when I was in the other job. And um, as obviously you go into Felton, they check you and they check all your paperwork and everything. They've seen some of my pictures, and mm. they're like, oh, who's this person in your picture? They passed the picture around to a few of the girls. And one of the girls like, ah, oh, we know this boy. And then the other girl's like, yeah, we know this boy as well. And they kind of had a little story about him, about how he was a bit of a troublemaker and stuff. Mm. But this was probably eight years, nine years from when he was in Felton. Mm-hmm. Okay. I left my, my mark. Like, still remember. Yeah, mm. he still remember you. Yeah. Yeah. I left my mark in some of them jails. Yeah. This was mad, love, isn't it? What did you, yeah, yeah, what did you end up getting that 10 for then? Oh, but there's, there's a combination of things. So... Was I come out? Like I said, I, I hadn't changed. I come out. Mm. I was. I actually got recalled to prison for saying I didn't do. There was a fight and a boozer. Uh, yeah. That had not, that literally had nothing to do with me. I, I think mm. I had the same quality. Yeah, had nothing to do with me as well. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to do with me as well. Yeah, nothing to do with me as well. You get what I'm saying? Well, like, why is it if we say it? We find it hard to believe. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, but so that happened but I, I wasn't I come out and I was, I, was, there was, I was doing other bits anyway so mm-hmm. I could have got recalled for saying I did do anyway mm-hmm. so yeah. I got recalled case, case got thrown out and then what am I saying is uh, it was like um, they said obviously they accused me of some like things that were going on in Lewis prison at the time mm. 
Brands. Phones, yeah, down that way. Mm-hmm. Drones, phones, and some kid got, he got, he got, he got, yeah, he got hurt. And um, yeah, they started trying to pin it on me, and that. So they found me the phone, they found me two phones, but um, they fucked up the nicking sheet. So they couldn't actually hold it against me. They ripped the right time, but wrong date, they all the right date, but wrong day or something. Mm-hmm. And it was a technicality of throwing it out, and they was fucking fuming over that. Oh, no. But it goes to me, I went to Winchester. So they do, um, it's alleged with the hostage taking that happened there. Obviously, the Winchester prison roof that got done, and then what else? I got? No, I just got moving from prison to prison. But all these charges, mm. obviously, the, obviously there was the, 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 the slashing as well. Obviously, I got slashed not long later. Someone else, got, he got he got um, slashed by by three razors. No, like there's a room mm-hmm. in jail if you had the two, but if you put uh, if you had the two razors together, mm. it makes it difficult for them to solve mm. it. So obviously, you know that. I kind of thinking, well, if two does that much damage, what will three do? Mm. Mm. Do you get what I'm sort of saying? Mm. And you know, I don't know what happened, but not long later, this lad got a big slash across his back with three razors across got his back. Got done up, didn't he? Yeah, but it was like a fucking blood bath, mate. I mean, there was a blood scene, but there was all these charges started mounting up and that. Mm. And then, um, yeah, in the end, obviously after the escape attempt as well, after the end, they just give me a definite. So obviously. In the prison, it's more known as like the IPP, but mm. with the IPP there's normally a number that comes with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With the hospital section 3741, there's no number that comes with it. So the hospital thing, so is it used on a madman thing? Well, when I was on top of Winchester prison roof, I started saying things like, you know, get me an L, get like the negotiators in. The mm. people how did they? Awesome. That's what I'm saying. How did they switch you from all right, he's a normal prisoner to now? Nah, my man's mental. I he's for over there. Mm. How like uh, man's done some madnesses still, but. I kind of skipped that, so I need to know where not to. No, I'm joking, but <laughs> you need to let the people them know yeah. how not to get. But is it, yeah, I, think, I, I think with me, like John Miller was being a bit like. I think I was kind of pissed off, so I was just on one. I think, mm-hmm. like I said to you, I, I said it with um, Fish. I said in that all the madnesses, I, I found peace in all the madnesses. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? When all these dramas are out, and I just felt relaxed. You know what I mean? When mm. all that uncertainty, not knowing when I was getting out, and all this, it was easy. Yeah, my head was going. I think you know. Admittedly, I did. I did lose. You know, I did lose the plot. Mm. Uh. I did lose the plot a little bit. Well, I, I did. But when I, when I was sitting on top of like prison roofs, ripping mm. up, and then sitting there asking for like Elvis Presley in person, that singing "Faith" by George Michael. They're Go gonna, mad, yeah, they're gonna look at you and yeah. think. I don't think he's right. Mm. You know what I mean? That's but what you know what it is? Like you know, like on the wing, bro, yeah? Uh, you know as well. You know how much madman that man know off the wing, madman. You're definitely lost it. Like, I, I bucked so much madman, yeah? And it's like, not everyone gets sent to the madhouse. Mm. And, and there's a lot of people on the wing that need that help. Yeah. Mm. They actually need that help. Like, we. No, none of the screws, none of the SO, no one can help them where they are. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? This man, like, gone do you get what i'm trying to say and then all what's going to happen is that guy ends up slashing up his cellmate whilst mm. he's sleeping for no reason or you know you hear it yeah, all yeah, the time exactly. do you get what i'm saying so it's weird how they they determine who needs that help like you had to get violent and go mad to get that help but then you've got people that's just mad on the wing normal mad and mm. not getting that help mm. Which is all <coughs> it's problematic, isn't it? I think mm. when you become sort of like problematic, yeah, you mm. feel like they wanted you out there. Anyway. Well, yeah, I feel yeah. like just, you just didn't really know what to do with you in the end, didn't it? Mm. Like I seg him off all the time. Yeah. You know, or, 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 cause How cause did you find they it? Can't, they can't, they can't medicate you in prison. Yeah. They can't force medicate you. Mm. In, in the mental hospitals, they can. They force yeah, medicate yeah, they you. They can. They're, they're very happy to d- yeah. do that as well. Mm. So I think that that comes into it as well. Like, you know, these people, you know, they need to be medicated. And How did you find the difference between like, Jail and like the, the I'm, I'm quite interested in all that. Broadmoor's another world, mate. Broadmoor's like fucking. No, do you didn't go Broadmoor straight away though, did you? I went to a medium school. I went to a medium school first. How was that? Like the change from like, because Broadmoor's a whole. We'll get to Broadmoor. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Broadmoor's yeah. even a change from the normal. Yeah, do you get what I'm trying to I say? But how was the switch? To be honest, it was a bit more like it wasn't too bad. Do you get what I'm sort of <coughs> saying? It wasn't like. You obviously you meet the characters. This was my first time sort of meeting. But at that time, I was in a bad place, sort of mentally anyway. Mm, okay. You get what I mean? My my head wasn't in a good place. Mm. So I think it was hospital. What probably what I needed mm. at the time. Yeah. Going was out. I had a lot of like, you know, especially emotionally wise, there was a lot going on in my head. Yeah. And um, it was probably what needed. But obviously that's when like you know the biggest obviously there was a, there was an escape attempt. So obviously when you do the escape attempt, 
amongst other things, that's when I obviously the high risk category. Mm. So I, I was like, I couldn't go back there, and yeah, that's when I got high secured off. Mm. How was the like? What was the inmates like? What sort um, of what sort of stories can you tell us about? Do you know what? Like in the high secured, the, the stories in that you yeah, I could tell you stories, yeah, but it's little. <laughs> Some would be hard to fucking believe. Yeah, that's so what I'm thinking. Mean, like, like, there's some, there's some. What, there's some, so, yeah, what was the association like? Like, like, yeah, like yeah. yo, that's just, yeah, like, did you, you have the pool? Did you still pool? Play like table tennis? Yeah, like, like, table tennis and all that. It like, yeah, it's it's, it's a source? different vibe. So okay, it's, it's a different vibe in, in, in them places, mate. Like you, you meet some level-headed people, but then you just meet people that are gone. Mm. Mm. They're gone so far. They're not coming back. Do you feel like it's because everyone's highly medicated? So like they're not really. I'm medicated just to fucking burn you out. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of people, patients out there are overweight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So the meds makes you eat. Yeah. The yeah. brain does you, innit? Yeah. You know, look, but then you got to eat. If you don't take the meds, like when I was there, you know, I got the hot water, then he, he got me in the back with a fork and that. Just because he thought I was a zombie. Mm. Do you get what I mean? The thing I said, you know, I said, I said, on this people podcast here, like, you know, in prison, when it's going to go off, there's, there's a bit of a vibe. Yeah. Um, or there's, there's, like, there's, like, politics, you know. Mm. Like, you you know, kind of know it's going to go down. If someone breaks the rules, you know, it's going to kick off. Yeah. And someone's got something to prove. Do you know what I mean? You mm. sort of know, in jail, a lot of ego in that as well in prison and that, mm. yeah? Mm. So in your sports, there's not that, none of that really ego in that. Mm. It's more, you don't know what's going on in their heads. Mm. Then you ain't, you ain't going to pick up a vibe. Because mm. you, there's, there is no sort of vibe. You it's going on in their heads. You might pick up someone's moving a bit shady, but in there people move funny all the time mm. normal yeah so you don't you can't determine what's that's a bit strange this mm. you, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it, all the things you see there's fucking strange do you mm. know what I mean but that's just how that, that place is so it's more the violence and all that inside the hospitals are more unprovoked mm. do you get what I'm sort of saying but mm. in like sort of prison argument can escalate but all right, people get into it or he's not paid or, you know mm. what I mean the whole Sort of probably everyone's probably seen jail films, isn't it? You know what I mean, mm. there's all that sort of what can cause. Did you get dramas. more visits when you was in there? Could you get more well, visits? Room, yeah, I stopped talking to everyone. Mm. There was a rumor went round that I died in that as well. I hung myself or someone killed some shit like that. So there was that went round. To be honest, like I said, I just got that big sentence. Yeah. You know, I had no release date. It was what 21, 22. Mm. Just done, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I, just, I, just, I stopped talking to him. Yeah. I just like, the, you know, what's the fucking point? Right? All the drama's going on inside and that as well. Yeah. You know, it was just, yeah, it was just hell. Do you know what I mean? It was just sort of fucking hell. But you know, I decided to keep fighting the system, and I ended up getting kicked out. Of it. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah. You're I'm glad they fucking yeah. kicked me out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, glad yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking. Come when on. they told me, they told me it was like a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, I'm fucking. <laughs> see, like, <laughs> see, like in prison, yeah, yeah. Like, you got like the non swing and all that. Yeah. How yeah. is it like over there? Everyone mixed. It's mixed in Bournemouth. I had a little job in the cafe in Bournemouth one time, and um, like a lot of the higher profile runners, you know, like you had the Yorkshire Ripper, Kenneth Stock Strangler, mm. Cunt Napper, mm. like you know, like the in the, the documentary, yeah, paper, yeah, sort of yeah, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They was all in like one work, one ward called the uh, Sandhurst Ward. Okay. They used to go over on a Thursday afternoon. I used to work in the cafe on a Thursday afternoon, mm. so. Yeah, we had didn't get to do none of them then. Well, I was gonna. Do, I was decide. I was thinking about doing Napa because mm. mm. I used to cook the burgers. So I had mm. the spatula thing, mm. so I did think about it. I thought I could give Napa a good go. I was like twenty two mm. anyway. I mm. still, you know, get a bit in the torrid. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll give him. You know, I've got the ripper here. I could run over do yeah. him. I could run quickly get him on the slides. What do you mm. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that was going on in my head. But the, the the staff in the cafe are nice staff. Yeah, like the only staff I got on right with in Broadmoor. To be fair, like they got, like did me this job. They gave me a little bit of trust, a bit of like <laughs> The star saved him. <laughs> I, no, I just didn't want to do it sort of, because a lot of the, the staff in, in the hospital hated me. Right. And I know they didn't like me working at a cafe. Mm. Now this staff had like, been, the ones in the cafe had been backing me, getting me down there. They knew mm-hmm. I liked it. It was a bit of normality down there. It was a bit normal. I just liked doing the cooking and it was just yeah. away from what was going on. Mm-hmm. Like, I had the madness, yeah. 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 And it was just sort of like, if I fuck this up, I'm letting them fucking down and like, I'm not gonna have this job no more. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I really did like, like, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah. I like that job, yeah. man. I, I really did. I really liked it. So that's oh, the only reason I never did it. But I did fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I did do um, Kenneth's fucking burger, didn't I? Kenneth did? Stockwell Strangler. Yeah, I did. I did his burger. I fucking. It was an accident. Yeah, all right. I can nearly kill him by accident. <laughs> like. This is, it's only young and naive here. Listen, let this be a message to some of the young ones, innit? Think about your actions. So anyway, like, they sort of tell you what people can and can't have. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, and they said, you know, Kenneth, like, 
he can't have um like hot chili it can't have like chili sort of uh chili sauce, can't yeah. have like hot yeah. sauce and that. Now in Broadmoor you got like the sauces they're like from there and they go down. Mm-hmm. Like the smaller the bottle the fucking hotter it's getting in it. Yeah. Anyway, Kenneth is like, I'll get a chicken burger. He's a big fat big fat thing like mm-hmm. Can I get a chicken burger? I said, yeah, alright, so I do the kicking and he goes, go, can I get some chili sauce? I was like, you, you we're not not allowed to give it to you. Mm. He's like, oh god. I said, I can give you some chili mayo. Mm. We didn't have no chili mayo. So anyway, he's like, yeah, chili mayo. So I've literally reached for the smallest, hottest fucking pepper sauce bottle I can find. Yeah. Mm. I've opened up this chicken burger. <laughs> what a cunt I was, innit? I'll sit there, I've flooded this chicken yeah, burger yeah, with yeah, this fucking hot burger. I flooded it. Mm. No, 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 just like sprinkle, you know, like literally soaked that chicken burger. Like mm. it, it was drenched. Mm. So he took, he took this fucking chicken burger and he's like, oh. So he's gone over, he's sat at his table, his cap. He started screaming all down, staff come running up to him, Kenneth, Kenneth, Kenneth. He's like, ah. I see him thinking, what if he's allergic? Mm. I think he's fucking it. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking, I've just killed, killed him. him. I've just killed him. Mm. I'm sitting there wiping the fucking <laughs> yeah, out yeah. Looking at cameras. I'm he sitting there shading that stuff like you're happy. I was like, yeah, yeah, sweet, bro, isn't it? I'm sitting there, I'm never getting out. I've just literally killed a serial killer. <laughs> I thought well. I am never getting no, out. You would have bust that, man. They would have been cool with you for that. I wiped the sauce bottle down. But anyway, it turns out Lucky, he's like, uh, he had earnings and all that. He's like hypersensitive and mm. all that. Like, fuck so me, are they like. living good in there? I like they're getting burgers, but I want my chicken burger. Yeah, and like all that. I think there's, 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 there's pros and cons in it. I think you know you're, you're gonna well, get the still odd human little, beings, man. Yeah, you're, you're gonna get the odd little pros. Apart from the nonsense, mm. you're, you're, you're gonna get the like the little treats. What are probably a bit better, but then mm. there's a lot what ain't better. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm sort of mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. That's what you mm-hmm. say. You can't compare Broadmoor and prison. They're so different. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I mean? It's yeah. so so different. Like you know, Broadmoor's a world of its own. You know, it's hell on yeah. earth. Like, yeah. When did you get to fucking get kicked out of hell on earth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you know, like we said there was a riot. I think you was the use the first place to get kicked out since Charlie Bronson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Well, they actually took mm-hmm. Bronson back, man. They never took me back. They wouldn't take me back from my trial. Mm. So fuck you. Cause the riot for there anyway. They wouldn't mm. take me back. So. so you're in the board. board. So how did you get board, kicked board, out of the books? So a lot of stuff's coming out of the others on that, but I, you know, I thought I say what I can. Like, there was there was a riot. There was a big riot. Mm. What was going on in the ward at the time was wrong. You know, there was a cover up. There was an article that the Health Journal actually one of the staff come out and said basically how he was being treated was wrong. Mm. You know, it was 23 hour lock up, like, was, there was short staff, like, people, there was open up doors when he couldn't come out of him. You know, you had, had on, this specific, on this specific ward, you had, you had an um, MI, which is mental, mental, mental illness, and you had mm. PDs, which is personality disorder. Right. You mix all them sort of together, you've got the PDs playing, manipulating games, paranoid, everyone's sort of paranoid, everyone's sort of mm-hmm. like, Madness. it was fuckeries, man. These staff, they didn't have enough staff to sort of facilitate it at the time. There was open doors and he was attacking him. This ward was like another, like, it, it tested you I was speaking with two people that was on this ward with, and we're like, you know, we're blessed, I'm supporting them, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're away, unfortunately. And, um, but now nice as pie, but on that wars, you know, you we think about doing each other. Mm. Because it's, mm. it's it's the head games and all that with it. It's yeah. so like it was so psychologically testing that was. It's mad because I mean? even like you put me on the on the phone to one of your pals that's still in there mm. and he just seems like a normal guy, mate. Mm. Telling me you rate the <coughs> music, blah yeah, blah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He yeah, just yeah. seems like a normal guy, like so it's just it's just mad, bro. Like I just think um, how do you even get out of there? Like, yeah, I was going to say, but do they give you a sentence yeah, when you're there? Or do, do, they, or do you like, just go you in get out of your no, there's, there's no there's parole? No. That's what I mean. That's the difference. Like, I compare when I try and explain my, my sentence to people in like know the prison system, but it's like it's the, sim, the most similar one is probably IPP. Mm. But the thing with an IPP, you have a number that comes with it. That means like after you said that, might you can yeah, apply yeah, for parole. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, after, I think it's every year you go through your parole. Now, in um the section 3741 is an indefinite so there's no number so, but every year you apply for what's well, that's basically the same as a pro it's called a tribunal and that's when you apply to get out but mm. again it's the same thing you've got to do the courses, courses. you've got to make sure you're playing but and what's getting written about you do you mm. get what i mean it's, it's mm. like it ain't easy you've got to work your ticket no, ain't easy and especially any slightest thing in that there knocks you about months and months and months mm. you know what i mean it ain't, it ain't easy and all in them, them sort of places, all it takes is like one staff to take this liking to, oh, you've got mm-hmm. them right and bind you, and yeah, it's just them places. So head when, when did you tell yourself, this is it now, nah, man? I've got, to, I've got to sort myself out and get out of this place. Mm. Mm. I've got to get back to, to get me head back. 
Get my head back. Yeah, stop listening to Spray. Stop listening to you. I'm trying to put your CD away. No, no, I I'm blaming you, bro. Listen too much, what is it? Really the most. Listen too much of that when I was away. I had to bring that for you, man. I had to bring that for you today, man. It brings back memories, that one. So you got the real tat as well. Yeah, got yeah, to come you. Yeah, come on. 100%. 100%. Real, yeah. Keep I it real around here. It's the best way to be. Exactly. I when I changed, I was in. I was doing a, a long period of segregation because they was, was accusing me of taking one of the most high-profile people in the country at the time hostage. Mm. There was like, um, obviously, this cunt's name Ian Brady. Um, mm. When I was doing that um, segregation, which was a test, nine months, seg, it was a fucking test. Yeah, that's yeah. a long time. That, that was long. It was a few days short of like nine months. Yeah, that's a long time. That, that was Done like a tree moon seg. Yeah, it's fucking it's not nice. Nah, bro. That, that, you talk to yourself. I was talking to myself after, yeah. like replaying. Things that have happened years ago, conversations Bro, I've and done all that. I've done about a six month nah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm doing decap, I'm doing decap, but nah, yeah. it's, it's not nice. You get what I'm saying? But you get used to it, man. Yeah, you do, you, that's the thing you do. You yeah. know, sort of getting, you get like a bit of routine and mm-hmm. all that. But um, also my thing was, was reading. I got into the reading. I, I think one of the books I picked up, what began the change, was uh, the key to living law of attraction. Mm. When I read this book, I was just amazed. I was just like, wow, well, like, I'm just really good. And then the psychologist said to me, do you remember that it, was, it wasn't long after like the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight? Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. So everyone wanted these two to fight for years, isn't it? Like, who was it? Pacquiao could beat Mayweather. Mm. I, and knew, then, I knew money was going to smack that up. Oh. But he, he had these two different sort of people fighting yeah. two different things. Like, mm. you know, Mayweather was very like, sort of flamboyant and that. And, you know, Pacquiao, he when he fights civil war stops yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. he stands for his whole country yeah, yeah, like, yeah i was gonna know, say yeah you had these two people fighting for two different complete sort of fucking reasons mm-hmm. and my mm-hmm. psychologist just turned around and said to me like like what is it you're fighting for i mean she saw that was like what they call like the penny drop moment mm-hmm. yeah. so sort of when she said that to me it was sort of like reading that key to law of attraction and yeah you there was a zen monk moment. i was talking to the zen monk like about letting things go because mm-hmm. I knew mm-hmm. me it was about holding on to these like negative emotions that I was carrying and that so mm. it was like changing your thought yeah process. man like, my whole thought just like literally then and I just you know I sat and did a deal with the universe I tell people mm-hmm. I'm a mental patient a mental hospital talking to the universe as you do you know mm. what I'm sort of saying and so I'm going I wrote all these goals down in the book that I wanted to, that I wanted to achieve mm-hmm. And I, that's when I made a deal. I said to the, the universe, I'm, gonna, I'm never gonna like sort of fucking say it, say it, say it. Break him. No, break him. I'm, I'm doing a Terry Lucas. Walker. I'm doing a Terry Walker. You're gonna blow it out of the camera. You know what it is, fam? I went mad today, innit? I come out in shorts and all that. I saw the sun, God forgot God. it's England. You get what I'm saying? And I come out and now my nose is running, but. True, last time I was sniffing and that, they say, ah, oh, he's sniffing and he's got glasses. They thought I was, they thought I was on the bugle, you get me? <laughs> so I'm making up, no, I'm not even on the bugle, you get me? Mm-mm. But yeah, so go ahead, go ahead. Oh, your thought, saying. but back to like, you have, you changed your thought process because you started yeah, well, realising, yeah, deal, like, yeah. So I said like, I would never sort of be violent to people. I never try and like put people down and I'll try and, you know, if you, know, you let me achieve these goals. So that's when I said it was about just, focusing these goals and like, I knew I had a feeling I always said to myself 2020 I'll be out mm. you know they told me I wouldn't get out and I was be lucky to get out 40 40 and things like this but for something in my head when I read all this book and I just got that sort of faith and I just believed like I can achieve these goals you I can manifested do it, it. Yeah, mani- yeah. manifested it that's what it you is manifested you know, just, it man you got to believe it and for some, for some reason I just believed it I, knew I it. listen I'm a strong believer of that like I wrote my, my vision board at the beginning of this year signed it dated it and everything like i always feel like you know like words become things in it and you can manifest like you can change your life do you know what i mean like it's never too late mm. so yeah i'm i'm glad that i'm glad that who gave you that book i picked it by choice i picked it really? by chance in the little trolley when i kind of said but i picked it by chance you that's why to. that's why to me it all seemed a bit yeah too, it was meant to happen it was meant to happen mm. do you know what I mean? and a lot of people like they do time and stuff like that but they find this like at the time when it happened you know like it could have been it felt like the worst thing but sometimes you need that isolation period you know to like kind of find yourself do you feel like that with you i did because you know i enlightened myself yeah you know I, you know it was a long time i was away for but you know being away from the world and sort of distractions and this that the other i was able to sort of focus and you know really 
like really solidate that sort of belief in the law of attraction mm. for me. Do you know what I mean? Not being outside and seeing that what you be doing, like having so much going on. Mm. I got, so I fell in love with it. Mm. Do you get what I mean? And mm. I, you know, I just these goals. I just knew I'd do it. You know, the first title I got when I got out was the four letters P T A W. You know, it sounds mm. proven or wrong because in my head I just mm -hmm. knew. And it's like when I was away, I knew I was gonna come out. I knew I was gonna do this. Yeah. When I listened to a CD, I knew I was gonna come out. Done a do a podcast with you. You know what I mean? I yeah, just see yeah. it in my yeah. head. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we're done pumping hard though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They love each other. You see these still popping jars in. In jail, yeah, not just the madhouse, yeah. Not just the madhouse. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> well, probably more the madhouse to be nah, fair. Nah, go on. I think it was his little sentence to the madhouse, but yeah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Call cool me the madman, innit? You know, like, come on, they know that one, man. But nah, yeah. man, it's good that it's good that you had that to listen to and it helped you, you know what I mean? Through that little period. Mm. You know what I mean? Music always helps when you're behind the door, you get me? 100%, 100%. Like, you know what I mean? My dog, DMX, I'm gonna ail him up again. My man brought me to some birds still. But yeah, yeah. man, now your story's your story's mad, it's it's, it's it's great, it's inspiring, but so um how did you how did you get to make them believe that you're ready for the road now? Mm -hmm. What was I your what was your pitch? <laughs> what was your pitch? <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it, it becomes like, you know, I think this was like two thousand fifteen, I think it was when I done it when I sort of when I stopped the violence. And I think just over time, the way I was carrying yourself, I think when you change, you carry yourself differently, you talk mm. differently. Yeah. And I think it was all coming to show. And I got attacked three times after that. And not once did I retaliate in them sort of times. One I had to grab up a little bit. But, uh -huh. you know, I was just sticking to it. And I think once you, you sort of do that, you're carrying yourself. I did the course. My sort of the psychologist, Jennifer Kilcorn, at the time was amazing. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. she really uh, was backing me in these meetings and supporting me. She did like, a lot of the one to one work with me around like emotions and like the trauma you know what I mean so mm -hmm. working on my head and that as well so I was like reading and I was learning from, from that so I was learning different angles and I was just taking in how did you feel when that. you didn't retaliate I felt good yeah I felt, I felt good obviously unfortunately there was an altercation two nights ago there's a video going about mm, mm, mm. You, you know but in that the moment with the fire extinguisher yeah with so the phone you know, like it's, it's what's not, he doing it's not something I wanted to, you know I don't want to be around that I don't want no. that shit coming to me you know yeah but I didn't want to have to hit him, but obviously you get hit and mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to go, that was there at the time was in danger. There was exactly. a, lot, a lot of things around yeah. it, but you know, defense, think, isn't it? Yeah, but in the system when I didn't hit them people back, mm -hmm. it felt amazing because it's something that I wanted to work towards, I've been working towards, you know, and it's sort of like it's like proofs in the proofs in the pudding there, you know? And and when obviously they did them I had that meeting. And when they put it down to like low risk, mm -hmm. like I was made up for that. They said I was, I was low risk of violence, and it just felt good. And obviously, I got moved to the medium secure unit, and then mm. obviously a couple of years after that, I was released. So oh, that's good, man. Happy yeah. days. Twenty twenty. That's good. Well. Twenty twenty. Wow. I knew it was twenty twenty. Well, I, I still did start questioning it when, like, you know, beginning of twenty twenty, all like the COVID and all that was mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. when it just started and lockdowns and that. So I was lucky to get out because they just found accommodation just before, but. Um, so what did you do get out, get into the boxing and that get back into the boxing? Yeah, that's the whole plan. But obviously, I was meant to fight in November, uh, last November. But again, the COVID just sort of like yeah, it just caused a lot of like delays. How did but you feel coming? Have, out? Oh, sorry, no, 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 no but I'm saying because it, but even though all them delays, other things have happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I've fallen into the podcast world and all that. I was just meant to do this short Amazon film documentary coming out after the sentence leading up to my debut fight. That's all it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? There's so much has happened like, yeah. since then. So sometimes, you know, things happen for reasons, you know, yeah. they can be good and be bad, but, you know, like one thing I've definitely learned since getting out, like you just don't know what next week holds. Come like, on. You don't know what is yeah. next, you know, what we could be doing next week. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. How did you feel coming out and with all the COVID lockdown and everything, like, what did that, like, you know, because it's completely different, what did that do? Well, I had a party, we had a party the first time, <laughs> I mean, I, I, we had a party, I'm not, yeah. I'm not like, yeah. just come out, we had a party, which was good, it's, uh, everyone, it was a good vibe, mm. but um, you're coming out, it's definitely strange, isn't it, you mm. know, the mask and mm -hmm. not places shut and mm -hmm. all that, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, diff it's different, it's so different, eh? but even like that, that, you know, after a decade, a lot more has changed than that as well, like, you know, mm. A lot has changed in a decade, so I'm still adjusting now. I'm still adapting, you know. I still want my issues and that with anxiety and things. Mm -hmm. So I'm still working on myself on that as well. But yeah, I see, I see you pushing out a good narrative, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, I see, I see the work you're putting in mm. and all that. Obviously, 
it's like man in it we're just trying to show mm-hmm. like something else in it mm. do you know what i mean like so yeah i rate that still so man. do i definitely oh, like, yeah and i like working with like doing things like the kids and that now trying to work trying to inspire them and that as well because my whole thing is literally like you know, if I come from a life since kicked out of Bournemouth and all that, coming out living the dream of things, do you know what I'm saying? It's okay. sort of like, yeah, exactly. Man, it's just about what you put your energy into. You know? And a lot, of, a lot of the people, your platforms that yourself probably agree, if you take energy and you, you channel it into something, mm-hmm. man, you know what can happen. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I think is happening. That's what has happened with a lot of the young ones. It's like misplaced energy, do you understand? So, yeah, that's good work that you're doing. It was good, though, yeah. you know? I only have an opportunity to come on platforms like this and promote it, you know what I mean? It's all about putting in positive ripple effects out there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, today's obviously, you know, to, well, you know, but today's subject, today's topic is going to be redemption mm-hmm. because that's your thing. So, appreciate, appreciate. do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I know you've got a lot to say on that. And, um, yeah, you know, Chris mm. had mummy's help and all that. So, we're going to try it. <laughs> we're going to try it. We're going to try and work with you. But, yeah. Now redemption, I've had to deal with that as well. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? This is even part of my but, redemption. Yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm trying to say? Doing this car. This this is just like the old me, this this wouldn't be doing this. Wouldn't so, be. Yeah, 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 definitely wouldn't be saying what I'm saying in it. So mm. that's part of my redemption. Do mm-hmm. you get what I'm trying to say? As far as I'm concerned, redemption starts with with repentance. And I've repented more than most. You mm. get what I'm saying? But then again, I've done more than most. But anyway, well, mm-hmm. current affairs, my G, big up for your story though. Like, make sure you check him out, check out his podcast. Definitely. Ben Hatchet. Come on. Check out the James English if you want. Yeah, we gave him about an hour, but you know what I mean? Should have given you more stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, um, big up James English though, kind of. But um, current affairs, you know what I see, Cream? Mm-hmm. I see. Um, Something in the te- by the Thames here. Yeah. Oh, I had to, a, mm. like a, some woman um, fell in the river or something in the Thames here, yeah. and then two men must have jumped in to save her here, yeah. and then like two of them ended up getting saved. The what what the woman and one of one of the men ended up getting saved, but then one of the guys that jumped in to save her died. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, R.I.P. him though. Yeah, definitely. Jimmy, I think his name was. Yeah, that's him up, but yeah, no, nah, that's like. Ooh, what would you think of that? Because me personally, that's I don't brave, know. Like, you know? I, that's my brave. Like, if if it's my if it's my my mum, my sister, my my my, my girl, my baby, my, you get what I'm mm. saying? I jump in there still. Do you know how she got in there? I don't know, but I don't know if I'll, I'll jump in there after her. But big mm. him up though. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Big him up though. I don't like deep water anyway, so boy. Um, you see, all you do, you have got the professionals there, that's what the professionals what are yeah. there for, but mm. at the same time, you got to respect, you know, the heroics in them to sort of go out and, for a stranger they didn't know, and yeah, actually yeah, yeah. help save a life. You got, yeah, you got, you see, know, you got that's that, serious. That's serious. Respect for that. Of course, because the, I'm saying, mm. me personally, I couldn't even see myself doing that so fast. Mm. Like, I've seen a stranger, you've jumped into the river, you've dropped in, and I'm now, I'm in there, I'm looking for, I'm, mm. I rate him. Because mm. that's what I'm saying. It would have to be my mum, my sister, my girl, my yeah. baby, like someone yeah. with my heart's there mm. for me to just. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Something for your heart when you think about it. Anyway. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Do you maybe, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, maybe he just thought he was gonna be able to get her out. Them big river there. Like I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. thinking about getting home to my loved ones. I'd have to look into that story because I wonder how she got how she got in the in the mm. Thames. I think mm. She fell off the bridge. How? There's a few people that's fallen off though. I, I see there's a couple of people, some um, 14 year old or something fell off mm-hmm. and they still ain't found him. All right, PM. Because it's quite high up, you know. You yeah, know, when you're on the bridge and you're looking over, it's high up, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mad one still. You seen anything else going on? Um, I saw that the policeman, you know, for George Floyd, mm. he got found guilty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I saw that. that. Um, I saw. Right, so. Yeah, come on. Um, I saw Fredo sign some million pound deal with a trainer company. Oh, is it? Yeah, I know it's in the, all like the artists are like going into like businesses now and stuff like that. Mm. So I'm liking all of that stuff. Um, what else was there? I see something. Young ads must have posted up something about that. Like there's some fake, some fake account acting like he's gal or something, and he was just saying like, yeah, like just don't listen. But it's so mad. Cause when I saw that, I had the same thing happening to me. If I, 
Well, like, you know, fake account. Yeah, just fake account, like acting like they're my girl and just going mm. mad. You get what I'm trying to say? But it's like, it's so, like, it's, it's, it actually harms, it mm. harms, harms your kind of, your, your, your life. Like, you're always kind of bullying, fam. Because mm. it's like, at the same time, your girl's thinking, do you get what I'm trying to say? Because you've got people this. actually thinking that's your girl as well and that's not how your girl moves. You get what I'm trying mm. to say, like, well, your girl, why is my girl even going to be? And it's like, it gets you mad at people for even saying, yo, your girl messaged me. That that gets you even mad. Yeah. Like, you fucking going mad. Yeah, like, why on. is my fucking girl going to message you? Going nuts so, on social media. I think all them sort of things, like, like I just that, I just thought, nah, man. When I see that happen to him, I thought, rah, so it's not just me. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? But yeah, man, them girl there, man, fuck you lot, like, man. Yeah, you know I heard saying? that they're going to change it now as well. Like, I think you got to, like, you know, like, yeah, to need, verify yeah, yourself like, before you get ID like a yeah ID you know, before you get Sutter, social man. media because me, there's you, too you much people be. hiding behind fake accounts yeah, you get what I'm saying I'll be all up for that like put your passport mm. details everything do you get what I'm trying to say so man can find your address if you like if you're that if you're coming and you're saying all this stuff in the comments cool can I got like there's an ID card I want to see your ID card and mm. I'll you get what I'm saying and people we see what time I'm is a big thing like, that's one of yeah. my things like, mm. covering mm. it it's, like, it's the trolling I say you know when we were younger I say like, like, bullying and all that it was like physical it was like schools and all mm. that now, so you're getting your it, now you're getting it in your, yeah you go home you're, you're away from all that mm. now you're getting it home you're getting it everywhere you go mm. through this internet mm. through drama these comments like, nasty, it's, like, it's different now it's a different fucking yeah. world now yeah. like, nasty and you know mm. the maddest things like enough of the times you know who it is as well mm. do you get what I'm trying to say but it's like you know who it is, but it's then always people two that man, can't say to your yeah, face. but two, two, how we are, we don't even deal with police, mm-hmm. so it's like it's so annoying, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. you see, normal people could just go to police and say, Look, this, this fool, person, do you get what I'm saying? Cause I know it's this fool, so this fool is doing this, so can you tell this fool to stop doing this, please? Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, normal people can do that, but where it's man, and you like, you know, it's that fool, but you can't. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you don't deal with feds. So that's, yeah, that's, that's how he did. What you said about the ID, I think, 100%, I was talking about like Terrence Diamond, we were was, we was talking about the subject, and we said, what they should do now with these, these, these comments and trolling, it'd be good if you had like, a, is it a VP? So basically, someone sent this, you could click and it'd say where you was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, well, Tom, Tony Smith or whatever just called me a cunt and I'm this. Mm. All right, you're right, <laughs> yeah. cost off. <up>. Yeah. <laughs> it's down the road. That's what I'm saying. Let's go see if I'm a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, I'll, yeah. I'll be, because I, I think, you know, the cyber bullying is, 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 is horrific. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nasty. Yeah. It's more time when you see you behind the keyboard, it's like, come on, man will break your face into seven come pieces. Come on, I'm telling you, they right. like to just chat shit. Yeah. Do you get me? Mm. Anything oh. else going on? You see anything going on, Benny boy? Just that video I made on the other... Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah your yeah, current yeah. topic. Oh, yeah, 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 You know what, though? You know what, though? Big up bouncer, though, call me bounce a pattern this thing for me mm-hmm. but he's got the fight coming up with arms oh, yeah. on mm-hmm, as well mm-hmm. I want to know who, 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 who's your money like, like. who you think is going to win do you get I'll what I'm trying to say do you know what it is my heart's with bouncing you, know, yeah. you see that arms call on you his arms look crazy though that, like, that arms call on you he's looking like he, he, he can fight lions and, and gorillas and all that oh. but you know what it is I'll be honest the first little when they were talking at, like he kind of seemed a bit nervous man mm. he seemed kind of nervous still like the arms you get me because was all over like yo what are you saying like can't like what you, you don't mean punching your feet so but i don't know yeah, i think arms built up his so you get what i'm saying mm. but yeah big got arms and rm and them man there but yeah blood. It, that's it, gonna it, be it, that's gonna be a fight though like, yeah little it's man's it's fighting fight. as well but little man's things t- little man's thing i don't even think little man's gonna lose no more like mm. He's proving like his team, you know his team. Like his team's wicked and bad. Like I'd not even watch like he's to me he's gonna win that. Mm. You know what I mean? But the bouncer, arms team, that's a thing still. No problem. You know when, what is the, was, when is the date, Flo? When is the date? I don't know. The date? I don't, I'm I don't not know, sure. I'm not I, sure. I see things got signed and yeah. and he looks like he's training. So we'll we'll, yeah. we'll a few bands here, yeah. we'll Come on. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, come on. Do you lot watch I was gonna ask you like do you lot watch Line of Duty? No, you don't no, watch no. it? Oh, okay. All right. we, we, I think when you've been behind the door, you're trying to stay away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. No, no, it's basically like, um, it's a police, sh- it's a police program, but it's about the anti-corruption police. So like the stuff, you know, the police that are doing bad stuff in the force, but it's actually lit. It's like the, it's like the bill 2.0, but everywhere, like everybody seems to be like hooked on this program. It's, it's actually really good. Do you mm. know what, yeah? I'm going to let you take the stage now with redemption. Yes. Do you know what I mean? 
Redemption, how, does, but yeah, how does redemption resonate with you? Like, I got it tattooed on, like, so I got a little bit massively tattooed on my back, and you know? I. So, redemption, the reason I got tattooed because I think my whole journey is about redemption, you know. Mm-hmm. The and what the is yang. redemption? To me, yeah, to you. So, to me, it's a deep one, it's mm. a deep one. That's what I'm taking settings, I want to word it. Mm. Mm. I want to give this one the respect it deserves and you know, answer it powerfully. I think redemption, what it means for me, like I said, like, like I spoke about the ripple effects, you know, mm-hmm, about ripple mm-hmm. effects. You see how coming up, I put so many fucking ne- negative ripple effects out there. And now with me on this redemption, it's trying to like put the positive ripple effects out there. So it's kind of, so I'll say redemption for me is about, is, is it definitely about my change and about on a mission mm-hmm. to, like I said, redeeming so like, yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's also actually it try and inspire people. Like I get the message all the time, like the story and what I'm, the things I'm doing, and that, and that's that's the reason why I'm doing it. And I'm trying to show people, like through my journey of redemption, my road to redemption, that mm. if I can do this, other people can. About like what we said earlier about channeling people's energy, basically. So, and it's just me on this. When I had this mad vision dream when I was in a mental mental hospital, dreaming all the time I was going to do all these things mm-hmm. that I'm living, I'm doing it. I'm just on my mission, my my mission of redemption, trying to do good. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, because no, to good. me, that sound your the story what you told us before was the exp- ex to me was the explanation for the resent for your redemption, because it seemed like from when you was in there, like you said, when you was manifesting and that that's you redeeming yourself, and the redemption is you now, because you're now free from the things mm. that was holding you before, which is basically like what it means, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To yeah, free yourself sure. from from what it was that was holding you, that had you bound. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, man, that's a powerful word, and especially for you to put it on your back, like right, it holds yeah, me. Man. Yeah, I'm just saying it holds meaning. But you redemption. Yeah. Have you got a track called Redemption. Yeah, 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 I got a track called Redemption. I think that was on the Hard to Kill volume three, because I had just. Bus, I bust a case still, like I bust a nice case, and it was like, if I would have got guilty on that case, I would have probably got IPP because mm-hmm. I, I took it trial on it, and everyone thought everyone thought I was finished, whatever, and then I got my not guilty, and that was at my stage of feeling like, I I like, God had given me redemption, therefore, I must use this chance you know and I still fucked up <laughs> I still, still learn, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here now though yeah. it was as it was a start to, to mm-hmm. you know what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. but yeah now nah, check out that track Redemption big track get me I don't think we're never like I still ain't put I think we're never gonna be but I think that's just life we're always gonna still make the same mistakes like I even come mm-hmm. out still, you know I've just some loss and I've still made a few mistakes but that's the whole thing about learning, isn't it? Like, exactly. I mean, that's what I mean. We're ne- never going to get it right. Yeah. I mean, we're never going to get it right. Yeah. Always, mm. There's always going to be something, but it's just about keep trying. Yeah, no, it's, 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 there's a lot of different. There's a lot of different ways you can redeem yourself. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And the first, the first thing I would say, the first step of redemption would be, you know, redemption within yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, not necessarily. You can't think of redemption like other people mm. forgiving you or exactly do you get what I'm saying you have to forgive yourself type of thing before do you get what I'm trying to say you can't expect forgiveness of human beings do you get what I'm trying to say your my your main concern should be forgiveness of your of God do you get what I'm trying to say mm. like do you know what I mean and but that's mm. that's my first and foremost mm. do you know what I mean like as long as God forgives me I don't care if this one down the road don't forgive me do you get mm. what I'm trying to say? Because God forgives me. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And I forgive myself. So if you don't forgive me, that's because you don't forgive yourself mm-hmm. for something else. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because mm-hmm. I've crept on in it. I've moved. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm moving. I'm moving. And do you get what I'm trying to say? In a way of redemption. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So if do you get what I'm saying? So as far as I'm concerned, you know, redemption just starts within yourself and your soul. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? Yeah, because it comes with a peace of mind, doesn't it? Do you understand? So you can't get it from anywhere else because you feel that it's the release from within, isn't it? So you know that you've been redeemed from what mm. was holding you back. 
Do you oh, get yeah, me? Everyone's journey. It's so gonna everyone, start within. exactly so within. within. Then we shouldn't change it. It's all going to start within. And it's about what you're going to put in the locker from there. You're saying you're going to start working on yourself, and that it's about you know it ain't easy. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the thing about it. You mm. know, going through it, like you're saying, we, you know, we're always going to get it right after. Mm. But it ain't gonna be easy. But it's about what you're gonna surround yourself with. That after, what things you're gonna be putting into your brain after that. When you're trying to change, what is you're going for? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. That's that's the most important thing. And sometimes when things ain't easy, people don't wanna do it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just changing, changing easy. Redemption ain't easy. You know, mm. and I think that's what puts a lot of people off. Sometimes you gotta be what you gotta want it, not just want it. Like I said to everyone, you already got to know that you have it, and you know what I mean. You know, we're talking yeah. of attraction right now. Basically, so yeah, come on. I think, that's, I think that's one of the keys when it comes to redemption. Yeah. When it comes to change. Because I was looking up the word, and it was like the action of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. Do you know what I mean? Or the action of regaining or gaining in possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. And that could even be like with the universe. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Um, do you know what? I didn't even look to have I was just talking. I was getting a bit worried. I said, no, 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 I think I might no. have the wrong meaning with this redemption here. Because I spoke like, like, like <laughs> No, because everybody has their yeah. own. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their own one. Do you get me? So, yeah. come on. Like, yeah. yeah Powerful story, though. Well, do you know what I mean? Definitely going to be in- inspiring like to a lot of people. You get me. It's what gives me the motivation. I'm telling yeah. you the message of these lads and that now. Do you know what I mean? Most men, obviously, people obviously through the mental wealth and that as mm-hmm, well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's what motivates me. It's what drives mm-hmm. me knowing that you, you're having an influence on people's life. It's amazing yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah. You know, and for positive. Mm. You know, so it's, it's good. And so every time I get these messages, that's why I try to reply. But it's, you know, as yeah. I'm growing, as the platform's growing, it's getting harder and harder to I try was going to say, you must, be in, you must be getting a lot of messages yeah, do, and things I do, like I that. Get all, all the time. but. You know, I just feel like I take that time. Mm-hmm. And I, I do take that time. I sit for like a few hours. I'm trying to go through all any message requests. I'm yeah. trying to go through all. You know, it is diff- it's, as it's obviously more and more. As I'm growing that now, see more and more messages. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like people are gonna sit there and take the time to sit and message me and all this and mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. And some, sometimes people open right up and that as well. Yeah. But I, I do more voice notes now. Oh. I mean, I've got yeah, 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 so you know I, mean? I do. Yeah, yeah I do a lot yeah. of voice notes now, and, and you know, I try and anyone that sort of reaches out, I try and you know, do my best to respond and that as well. And yeah, it's an amazing feeling, you know, things are going good in that as well. Obviously, you know, I'm late now. You know, I'm still out here, still adjusting myself. And yeah, that, you know? oh, that's nice. So, obviously, the fight's coming out July 10th, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, hope you and SP are going to be there. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah, so, good yeah. luck on that. So I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still on my road to redemption, you know? Yeah, I'm still, still yeah. on this road and that, but again, getting opportunities to come here. Like, you know, it's more of attraction yeah, itself. Like, like, so listen, listen to you when I was away and I was sitting there doing a podcast with you, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's, exactly. It's, it's, it's memories like this, it's moments yeah. like, do you know what I mean? It's sort of like, yeah. you know, it's blissful moments, isn't it? You know what it is, bro. That's, that's why today I made sure I make, made it happen. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because obviously I knew he was coming from far. Exactly. And we've been chatting on the mm-hmm. phone, you know, like even the whole redemption thing. Cause I didn't really know too much how to go into it. That's why I was kind of leaving it to you. But it's like a lot went into today. Mm-hmm. Honestly, do you mm-hmm. get what I'm trying to say? Like even that down to routine change, and you have to always be able to adapt. Do you get what I'm trying to say in mm-hmm. this life? Because there's always going to come obstacles. What's coming to try on? Or there's going to be I don't know people. Or just just it's just going to be. Gonna you're going to have to go. And to keep things moving, you have to be able to adapt. Do you get yeah. what I'm trying to say? To every situation. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's about us turning up. Mm-hmm. And as long as we turn up to share what we're here to share, that's our main thing. Yeah. Everything else, do you know? It's for a season and a reason. Do you understand? So um, that's why we thought, all right, cool. Today there was a lot of politics in the background or whatever. Um, but we thought, you know what? Huh. We're gonna keep this going. Exactly. And, um, episode one, season two. So yeah, now respect for coming through and being no, part of this, man. Definitely. Thanks for coming. I've got. Yeah, well. Yeah. The CD. I did for years ago. I did for years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean, I've got you a shirt. Look at that. I've got you a mask. Oh. You know what I mean, I even I'm got even like got you the tracksuit. For mm-hmm. You know what I mean for you to train up for your fight. Obviously, normally, 
I give them a book to go and read it. Yeah. But today's been so mental, didn't even get the book, but um, I'm going to tell them to go and read um, The Power of Love. Okay. Or, 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 or you could read my book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Jar Jar, Jar Big Old Jar Jar. Is that a good book? I didn't even know you wrote a book. But Published yeah. author, bruv. No rejection. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Good. And yeah, Judge's book, I, I googled it still, The Power of Love. It's, mm. it's a motivational book of inspirational views, opinions, and ideas from Judge Asose. <laughs> centered, centered around the amazing power that love can have on us when utilised in the correct way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, big up Jaja on that. Pick him up. The power of love. I read, read Jaja's as well, big up Jaja on that. The power mm-hmm. of love. So yeah, get that. Um, follow the Queen. Queen Ice Cream. And um, also follow my YouTube at Queen Ice Cream TV. I've got some new stuff on there. So, yeah. yeah. Follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray. And follow... Ben underscore hatchet underscore official. Yeah, you thanks for rocking with us um, through the whole of season one. I hope you keep rocking with us for season two because you know we're going to come with that banter, come with that sauce, and all of that. So, yeah, thanks for the PayPal donations and the um, cash up and all that. And yeah, we got you, man. Mm-hmm. Sure.